What's up, ladies and gentlemen? What is going on? You are tuning in to the first ever Trifecta podcast. You hear myself. I'm here along with Cecilia B and Reg 1167. Gentlemen, what is going on with you guys? What's going What's on? up, man? How's it going? Long time coming, man. Long time coming. <laughs> yeah, long time coming. <laughs> I know it's something that we have been talking about for a while, so I'm finally glad that we're able to get this up and running. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, get it running smooth. We still got some tweaks, but we'll, we'll get it together later. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, with this uh, podcast, everyone, um, we just want to kind of give you guys an introduction as far as the bio. So, we'll touch on like one particular topic, but for the most part, this this podcast is going to be a lot of random conversation. You'll get some tangents every once in a while but that's that's going to be the nature of it man i mean the fact that we just having a conversation about stuff that you know about current events and things that we love and things that we hate so it'll be a multitude of different things in this yeah 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 <laughs> so uh it's up to you one of you guys want to start it off you know introduce yourself tell everyone a little bit about yourself and you don't have to get too extensive but um at least some basic information I read it on you. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> all right, folks. Um, I'm Reg 1167. That's my um. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, that's my YouTube channel. Also, um, Twitter. Been doing this for about what eight years now. Enjoy it a lot. I enjoy making people laugh and also making people think. <laughs> That's basically about about it for me. Uh yeah, I'm sensitive beast. To make videos on YouTube, man. I just like to have fun, meet cool people. And um Yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, well, myself, everyone, my name is Teller May Boy. Um, I've been posting videos on YouTube for a little over a year and a half on a consistent basis. Um, I've been, you know, enjoying what I've been doing. You know, I've been meeting a lot of cool individuals, a lot of cool people. And um, I continue to keep it going for as long as I can. I don't see myself really stopping anytime soon. But um, we will definitely make sure that we link the description for all of our youtube channels in the description box below so that way if you want to get to all three of our channels then you have more than enough access to get to it yeah, all right folks, go, ahead. go ahead oh i'm sorry folks, go ahead. do do check out our channel people say we may have a lot of stuff similar but we are you know different perspectives different looks and views on life so yeah, yeah absolutely check, check us out so the, the biggest thing with everything that's been going on, especially with all the election, now that it, that shit is finally over, um, <laughs> <laughs> in y'all opinion, um, what about 2016, when you sit there and you think about all the stuff that has happened in 2016, what is the thing that you absolutely hate the most and what is the thing that you love the most? Well... I know it's a, it's a t it's a tough question, man. When you sit back and you think about it, man, because it's a lot of stuff has been going on this year. Go ahead, Rich. Two things. Two things that that I really hated this year. Um, my favorite artist of all time died. Prince. Prince. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. And the stupid election. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, those two things are, are like tied to me, you know. Mm -hmm. And the the most exciting, the most um thing that I was really looking forward to this year was um, which was another big thing about this election. Um, twenty eight states finally said that medical marijuana use is legal. Really. I did not know that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and, that's, that's for y'all. It's a really legal. It's legal and medical legal over here. So I'm good. Yeah. And then, then the kicker is another five said it was okay for recreational use. I had no idea, man. I had no idea. Like I was like myself. I was so out of tune with 
like you know the other stuff that had happened because you know they didn't really focus on none of that stuff like yeah. the biggest thing has just been you know the outcome of the election but not you know about the 28 states and the five that made it good for recreational use i, I had no idea about that yeah and and see that's the thing about the political process they they focus on the presidential election but there were a mm -hmm. bunch of other stuff like education they tried to take over especially here in georgia they tried to take over um they tried to make it mand well make it state mandatory for them to um take over the schools they were wow. going to get rid of the school boards and all that stuff so yeah it was crazy and and that's what i hate well that's what i hate about the media they never talk about that stuff they just focus yeah. on the presidential election which to me doesn't make a difference because it's not changing what i'm you know locally it's not changing anything really yeah what about yourself sincere oh man i i think yeah i think michael jackson makes it when he, when he died two years ago yeah it's been a, it's been a while <laughs> <laughs> so, together man so uh yeah prince is definitely one of them also his passing was pretty pretty tough but i still feel michael's passing more i don't know why i feel closer to mike i don't know why man um what's going on all these these police shooters, man. Oh, man. Yeah. Shot by the cops, man. It ain't just, you know, it ain't just a black thing. I seen some video of the white dudes that getting shot by cops, man, out of, for nothing. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's that been really crazy. I mean, nothing new, but um, now with technology, it's, it's just being picked up more. <laughs> we can see yeah. it now actually happen. Instead of listening to somebody telling the story, we actually can see it. So that makes a huge difference. Um, I can't really discuss politics because of my uh job <laughs> understandable understandable don't want you to get caught up in nothing yeah but uh that was crazy too yeah that was crazy too. <laughs> <laughs> the results was even more crazier mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm still lost for words but uh um but i think people yeah, will, will see that um you know when they say make america better again and they wasn't referring to a certain group of people in my opinion so mm -hmm. but um yeah other than that man um me being sick all this damn time uh, 2016 kind of sucked <laughs> yeah i mean but you got to look at it differently though man i mean at least <laughs> at least you're still breathing man you still you still here with us and, That's true. I'm I, and, and we, got, we got a lot of people amongst the three of us that you know, and it's hard to say right now. Or well, I can't believe I'm saying that there are fans of all three of us, and I I, I never would have imagined me saying that. You know, I got fans of what I do. Like that's yeah. that's just one of those like that's one of those things. It's like where it's it's so baffling. Like when you sit there and you say it to yourself and you hear it out loud, that is like you know so surreal in a way. Yeah, because. I mean, like you said, man, it's, it still bugs me out that that not bug me out, but it, it kind of freaks me out that I can say, "Hey, I like this product," and people go out and buy it because mm -hmm. you recommend it. And I'm like, yeah. you know, I'm hey, I'm just a little country boy. How you? So was it was there anything about 2016 since uh, that you actually like? It's got to be something, man. It's got to be something. It's got to be at least one thing. Man, I'm trying to think, man. I got to squeeze one out. Let me see. <laughs> uh, I like my new place. I moved. So. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, move. I yeah. forgot about that. But only because I was sick, so. <laughs> 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 but, uh, but it's close to my wife. She she, she, she don't got to drive 30 minutes now versus two hours. That's oh, yeah. That, that's that's a big yeah. difference, man. That's yeah. a big difference. Yeah, and my my... my my balcony you can see the water so that's cool <laughs> good scenery but yeah that's that's yeah that's maybe that's a positive right there i guess you can do like a candlelight dinner by the water but just on the balcony but you still get to see that yeah, you can see that, that scene mm -hmm. yeah it's too cold right now though Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so i would say in regards to myself like i'm not i'm not even going to touch on the whole politics thing i mean being in the dmv and we are and i'm literally like in the heart of you know all of this political mess and stuff that happens um i'm not even really going to touch on that i think that that speaks for itself already um 
I'm gonna kind of keep it on the entertainment side. Um, like the biggest disappointment for me, and maybe I'm getting the time frame mixed up, but I don't think I am. But Batman v Superman, like oh. I was, I was so fucking mad, dude. After, wow. that, after that movie was over, and like I sat there and I hyped that movie up so bad, man. He, you know, even doing all the reactions to the trailers, and I thought that was going to be the greatest thing in the world, and. I remember walking out that theater, like with the with the mad face. Like I hadn't felt that mad since um, the wife dragged me to go see Fifty Shades of Grey on Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, <laughs> kept that a secret. <laughs> dude, I have no shame, man. I have no shame. It was it was for the wife. It wasn't for myself. I tried to go to sleep, but she tried to. She kept me up every time I dozed off. She nudged me. <laughs> on my arm like you better wake the fuck up like you're not going to sleep on this movie and i remember i remember vividly when we went to go see that movie and um every person that was coming up that theater they was like we could have just watched the porn to see all of this stuff that was going on in the theater (laughs) (laughs) so so for me it's got it's got to be that movie because of the simple fact that you know i really had anticipated that movie on being so good um the bright spot about 2016 is the simple fact that is a simple fact that um with us moving as well too um and you know getting a new beginning and a new start on everything that has been going on um that's always a, a positive as far as um as far as in 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 my year of 2016 but overall like I think 2016 was probably the worst year that I've that I've had in, in quite a long time, in quite a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I, I, I saw Magic Mike. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, Susie. hold on, hold on, brother. Hold on, man. You cannot rag on me for, you cannot rag on me for seeing Fifty Shades of Grey when Magic Mike is all dudes, like half-ass naked, greased up. Hey, you, you put it out there, I got it. <laughs> When it was done, I was walking around saying, all right, all right, all right. Oh, hell no, nah, man. Yeah. Hey, it's, it's one thing. It's one thing I would never suggest myself in doing, and that is watching that shit. I will never in my life watch that. What, what would make this complete if Red would come out and admit that he watched Brokeback Mountain? <laughs> oh, no, hey, 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 hey. hey. Uh, I, I, I'm going to admit it because I, I, I watched it after I watched it. I did. But hold on, hold on. You got to remember, he Ledger was in it, and I watched it, I watched it after back of um, The Dark Knight. So, so, so you watched this movie years after this movie had already came out. Yeah, because Heath Ledger was in it, and he had just died and everything, and I'm like, everybody was talking about it, and I'm like, Man, Heath Ledger was in it. It can't be that bad, you know. Brother, that's one of those things you need to take everyone's advice, and when they tell you what's what's going on, do not ever watch that movie. I don't care if Jesus is in this movie, I wouldn't watch it, man. <laughs> nah, hell no, nah. nah, not me, man. That that'll be one of those things that I'll take everyone's advice and and just take the word for it. And I would not even, I wouldn't even pop that e- even into the Netflix at all. Like I wouldn't even touch it, man. Dude, how you go from Batman to <laughs> that's a that's a down that's a steep downgrade, man. <laughs> oh man, see, I did not expect that, Ridge. I I totally didn't expect that, man. I was joking, but shit. Yeah, the, the way he was stuttering though, it, I was like, oh no, that he probably he's he seen it, he's seen it, he's seen it. Oh man. Um, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, though. I, yeah, I mean, we all had to bullet up for something. Yeah. I can at least say mine was for a good cause. Yeah, yeah. I'll bite the bullet, but I ain't biting no pillow. You <laughs> <laughs> bite no pillow. Oh, jeez, man. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. Man. Um, so as far as with this podcast, man, this this is what which, which y'all will be getting with every single one, man. It's just going to, like I said, it's going to be a lot of tangents, man. It's going to be a lot of laughs and jokes. So if you guys want to sit back and enjoy and just relax yourself, 
in these podcasts, then by all means, we invite you guys to, to join us and and leave all your comments below in the comment section of, of, the, of the podcast because it'll be up on all of our channels. So if you can't get to mine, you can get to Sincere's. If you can't get to Sincere's, you can get to Reg and vice versa. So you guys will have all access to all the podcasts. Now, we're going to try to do this on a weekly basis, um, kind of depending on the schedule of myself and Reg for the most part, um, mainly because of the simple fact that we, we still have full-time jobs. Um, so our biggest thing is to try to at least make sure. That's what I'm saying, brother. You retired, man. You, you can chill. You can wake up in the morning and scratch your nuts and then and just be, be chilling, man. <laughs> so we, we want to do this on a regular basis, and we want to do this so that way by the weekend comes around, you guys have something to listen to and have something to, like I said, yo, you can just – relax and laugh and joke along with us, man. And any type of criticism, you know, it, regardless on if it's constructive or if you trolling, <laughs> it don't matter, man. It's not something that we're not used to already. Cause like I said, we've been doing YouTube for, for a bit of time. So something that we've already been accustomed to seeing on a, on a constant basis on, on a regular. Um, so with that being said, uh, you got anything you want to leave uh, rich? Um, yo, it's the holiday season. Show some love. Show some love to, to mm -hmm. somebody outside your family. You know, just spread some love. Absolutely. What about you, Sincere? Yeah, man, spread love, man. Stop buying people socks and shit. Get some real. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> and uh, sometimes I might not be able to make the podcast because of my medical situation, but Rich. And uh, uh, and Aaron will still continue to go on, even though I'm not there sometimes. So keep that in mind. So yeah, absolutely. Um, myself, man. Everyone, just continue to stay positive, man. Try to try not to surround yourself with so much drama, and so much of the negativity, because all it's going to do is drag you down, man. So always keep it positive. It's always a, a bright spot in a dark place. So always keep that in mind, man. Um, well, that's going to do it for us. Thank you guys once again for joining us in the premiere episode of, Tri of the Trifecta Podcast. I'm here with Sincere B, Ridge1167. I'm your man, Tillamay Boy, and we will see you guys next time. Peace. Later. Peace.